Let me drink my wine, cause I'm getting mad again. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. And so as you guys have already read the title, today's video is going to be a story time, sipping wine story time. Um, I can't even remember the last time I did a story time. And it's been years. It's definitely been years since I did a story time. I don't do a lot of story times too because yeah, your, your girl be living life and she don't want to disclose too much to the internet. So, let's just talk about the time I almost got expelled from beauty school, okay? <laughs> okay, so, y'all excuse me, I've already been sipping a little bit, so I'm feeling my drink. Oh, before we get into the story time, if you guys have not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on those notification bells so y'all can be alert every time I post a new video, of course. Okay, so let's get straight into it. I ended up graduating from beauty school 2022. It was like summertime. It had to be in like June, July when I graduated. Mind you, I've been there for a year, but I ended up shortening my time because I've been going to school consistently and making sure I rack up them hours because, baby, I was trying to get on. Like, that school was not it. The school that I attended is... Okay, well, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna broadcast what school it was, but it's in Monroe, not far from Clayton State and it's owned by Koreans, okay? Not Paul Mitchell, not Empire. Those are schools I wish I would've went to, but at the same time, I'm kinda glad I didn't go because I did end up finish, finishing paying my tuition with the school. It was a better transition of not having to have debt after I graduated, so that was a blessing. With me attending this school, I realized that I wasn't really getting the education that I needed in a beauty school. And what I mean by that is, first of all, we barely had a teacher there. The nail program had a teacher, a permanent teacher. The esthetician um, program had a permanent teacher. And the cosmetology teachers that were trying to be teachers had a permanent instructor. Now when it came down to the cosmetology class, when I first started, I think I started in like August, September. And I had a permanent teacher for the first three months. Yeah, I think she, I can't even remember, Shawty was gone. So after she left, she came back and was like, yeah, I don't want to do this job no more. So when she did that, we just had substitute teachers each and every time. Now, mind you, with us having different teachers, um, yeah, everybody had a different teaching, teaching skill and they trying to teach you this, trying to teach you that. It was so all over the place, y'all. So we didn't, our class didn't really get the learning or the skills that we needed, like a regular beauty school, like Paul Mitchell or Empire. So, literally, it got so bad to the point to where, yeah, we started finessing the system <laughs> and literally clocked in and left because we didn't have no teacher and all they wanted us to do was book work. Don't nobody want to do book work. So, I just want to run down and tell y'all a little backstory about the school. So, we ended up getting a new teacher, right? Mind you, we had another lady that was kind of over the whole program of all three programs at the school, nail, esthetician, and cosmetology. So she was kind of like the teacher at one point, then she had an assistant teacher. Mind you, the assistant teacher was a male who only knew Barbara. Like, the only thing he knew was Barbara. He was just there to basically, for me, to just grab a check. Like, you were here for what? So he was just there, literally there. So mind you, as we're going, as the school go on, I'm getting closer to graduate. It's getting towards the end of me graduating. I think it was like June, June-ish, around that time when I was about to graduate. This is when the man was working there, okay? Mind you, the man was cool with us, trying to side, and that's why I can't stand by certain teachers because <laughs> they be trying to side with us, be our friend, like, oh, I got you here, got you there, okay, cool. So then the the Koreans, the old the owners, is that racist? I ain't trying to be racist. Is that racist? <laughs> the other ethnicity, the Koreans, they started to put two and two together. That folks were literally clocking in, but they weren't here physically. So it came a time where they wanted us to clock in, go in the classroom, sign off, saying we were here. 
leave for lunch, come back from lunch, sign off. And uh, 10 minutes, 15 minutes before the bell rung, sign off again. It was crazy. Like, it was, uh, it was so much. So, <laughs> I feel like my wife. <laughs> So during this time, this is when they was trying to be strict or whatever. Cool, 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 cool. I had a job interview. The job interview was like two, around two o'clock. The school was all the way in Monroe, Georgia. If you're from Atlanta and you're from Georgia, you know. The school was in Monroe, Georgia, and the job I was applying for was all the way in North Druid Hill. So baby, that was a distance, okay? So I'm like, Okay, let me show a little face real quick. Like, I done, me and my friend, me, me and Chanel, shout out to Chanel. We was always had each other bed. Like, since you gonna call me in? Okay, call me out, call me out. I'll be like, okay, I got you. And she did the same for me. So this time I did go to school. I went to school, clocked in, signed in. Went to lunch. Yeah, I went to lunch and I told Chanel to write my name down or whatever. And I wasn't coming back to school because, baby, I'm going all the way to Druid Hill. Class is in at 4 o'clock. What am I coming back for? The interview's at 2. So, mind you, the man, mind you, like I said before, he was all, like, kissing our ass, trying to be our friend. Like, I'm the cool teacher, ugly ass. And, <clears throat> okay, cool, I'm going to hold you up to that. When you act like that, I'm, 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 I'm going to see if you about that. He saw me. So, they were real big on writing your name down and making sure they saw you. He saw me during the day, definitely. And I kind of waited a little minute. Yeah, I wait. That's exactly what happened. I waited a little minute, like, cause I'm trying to trying to see what what is giving, like, what what's going on for the day. Do we have any more clients? I don't even know why I'm talking about if we had clients. We never had clients here. So I'm like, okay, it's cool. The coast is clear. I'm finna I'm finna deal. I'm finna go go to, go to this interview real quick, and then I'm gonna come back. Nah, I'm lying. No, I'm not. I'm not coming back. <laughs> I just left the interview. I drove all the way up there. It's low key rush hour time. And I finally get to my interview. So all that happened. Then I get a call from Chanel, like, Yeah, girl, where you at? I'm like, I'm still at the interview. What's up? She like, girl, why this man lied on you saying you was never at school today? And they're clocking you out. And you're getting a write-up. I said, what? He said, what, Chanel? She was like, yeah, that's what he said. I said, oh, okay. I said, <laughs> get him the phone. She, I hear her. I hear Chanel like, Jordan wants to talk to you. Jordan wants to talk to you. Mind you, I was going to lie. I was going to be like, so you trying to tell him that I wasn't there? I, You definitely saw me earlier today. And then I went to the store to get something. I'm on my way back. So let's not mess up what I got going on to graduate. I don't like that. And then weren't you just playing it cool? Like, I'm confused. Which one are you trying to be? My friend or not? Because it's giving or not. So, let me drink my wine because I'm getting mad again. <laughs> A Chanel like, Jordan want to talk to you. Jordan want to talk to you. He, she like, next thing I know, I'm waiting for him to get the phone. She come back on the phone like, yeah, he don't want to talk to you. He don't got nothing to say to you. He don't got nothing to say. It's already done. It's already done. I said, oh, okay. Bitch, I'm on the way. <laughs> so, girl, I'm speeding back on that side of town. Like, the director, who was over all three of them, we end up growing a really good bond. And she ended up calling me back, like, Jordan, don't worry about it. Like, it's okay. Like, I got it all undercover, like, under control. Don't worry about it. I said, oh, no, it's okay. I'm on my way. I'm, I have some words for him. Like, I'm on my way. She like, no, don't do nothing, no, do nothing. I said, okay, okay, okay. And then we hang up. Child, so I finally pull up to the school. Mind you, everybody in their rooms, the door closed. Child, I cut that corner looking for that man. I'm like, yeah, where he at? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, where he at? He not in the room. Like, I looked in the cosmetology room like, bitch, I'm finna beat your ass type of energy. <laughs> I went in that bitch like, what's up, what's up? Like, I have a problem. <laughs> he wasn't in the cosmetology room. I end up going to the back where the owner work, the assistant owner, girl, I ain't care. Cause, cause what's up? 
he was right there. I said, <laughs> I said, did you fucking lie on me? I was, y'all, I was heated. I was so mad. I'm so mad. Like, now looking back on it, I'm kind of upset that he kind of got me there. And I've definitely grown. I'm a better woman. But during that time, like, yeah, he definitely got this. He definitely got this energy. Like, I went off on a booth on the ass. Like, don't ever. I was putting my phone. Bitch, don't ever. Oh, my motherfucking head. Bitch, you stop me here. Bitch, you stop me here. Mind you, I'm so loud. Everybody opened the door, like, to their classroom. Like, what the fuck? What's going on? Like, what's going on? What's going on? The lady that was over the department of all three programs, <clears throat> she's grabbing me like, Jordy, Jordy, calm down, calm down. No, then they got me fucked up. Bitch, I ain't like my name. Oh, no, bitch, you know you saw me. Bitch, you trying to fuck me up for school. Like, everybody's outside. The Korean lady saw me. She's terrified. Like, girl, then I just walk off. Like, bitch, I said what I said and walked off, right? Went back around that corner and clocked back in. Stop playing with me. I actually did that before I cussed him out. So when I first came in, I clocked in, then looked for him. Yeah, because you're not about to play on my top without graduating, baby. This is his second time getting into it with a female. Or he done did something to a female and she had to go off on him. So I'm the second girl that did this. So it's just not me. Okay, so I just want to clear that up. It's just not me, okay? So I ended up going outside, cool down, woo saw. <clears throat> And next thing I know, I get an email talking about, oh, you're clocked out and this is your last straw. Next straw, you're, you're, you're expelled. I'm like, why are y'all adding more flame to the fire? Y'all know what I did. <laughs> I stuck my black ass back up in that bitch and found that lady who sent that email. <laughs> I see her little bitty ass. Looking down, looking at the paperwork. I said, excuse me. She looked up. Oh, oh, you scared me. You, you're not supposed to be on campus right now. Why are you clocking me out? You're not supposed to be on campus right now. You're, you're, if you don't leave, you're going to get expelled. I said, you're expelling me for, girl, I, girl, <laughs> girl. <laughs> I pipe back up. <laughs> <laughs> The director had to grab me again. I'm like, yo, they're gonna make me set it off in this motherfucker. Like, they're gonna make me set it off. She grabbed me again and was like, Jordan, you have to leave. Like, I'm trying to save you from not getting a spell and starting all over. Mind you, y'all, I had two more weeks at that school. And I'm like, why are they doing this to me? Like, why would he lie on my name? Why would he even get me there? So I think he ended up leaving. And that next, I can't remember. So yeah, I was suspended for the rest of the day. I think I was suspended for another day. I think I was suspended for two days. So <clears throat> I didn't come back till I think that Monday. And when I came back, <clears throat> they ended up firing the man. Yeah, you sitting there kissing ass. You got fired. <laughs> How does that look? I can't remember the reason why he got fired. Of course, in my situation, I think that other girl. But two, this wasn't a good fit for you. Like, you do barber. No shade to the barbers that also are cosmetology teachers. No shade to y'all, but literally that's all he knew. He didn't know nothing else. Like, you're here for what? I, I didn't see, I didn't see the receipts. But I did find out that once they fired him, he aired the school out, like, how they're unprofessional, how all this is a scam. Girl, that's a whole nother story, like, the school is a scam till this day, still. So, I was just like, yeah, don't play with me. And that's how that was. So I went back to school, I was quiet for the last two weeks, like, don't talk to me, don't look at me. That was the type of energy I was giving for the last two weeks, but it worked out thank god i've graduated I had a whole graduation party and yeah that was like literally the worst school i've been to um out of all the schools i've been to yeah that was kind of really bad i did graduate i got my i got my cosmetology license and yeah i'm living it out here in this 
beauty world, beauty industry, and I love it here. I definitely got my stuff together after that whole incident. I didn't really, <clears throat> I, I became a good girl after that. Like, I had to really control my, my anger and when I react on stuff, cause now, literally when I'm mad, I just have a moment, like, chill, take a woo sob, deep breathe in, deep breathe out. But that's my story time when I almost got a spell from beauty school. All my cosmetology sisters, I love y'all, I miss y'all. If y'all watching my video, we definitely need to, you know, link up, hang out, period. Every Sunday and Wednesday, be on the lookout for my YouTube videos, cause I'm dropping twice a week. And stay tuned. So this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.